Let's meet the men that are going to be doing the unveiling. They are also going to be doing the driving this season. It's uh, Nico Hulkenberg here, Jules Bianchi, who's the reserve driver, and of course Paul De Resta, Scotland's own Paul De Resta. It's uh, an exciting day for all three of you. Uh, come to you first of all, Paul. I mean, uh, how much of a, of a part have you played in the design of this car? I think every, but every individual in this team's um, put a lot of effort into this car. Um, the momentum we had at the end of last year, hopefully we've managed to carry that over, but I must say it's a fine piece of art and hopefully when it gets to track it will show what it's capable of. Yeah. Well, Jules, you've come in from Ferrari, so you've brought all your secrets in, I guess. Of course you haven't, but uh, I mean, is this a good team to be joining? It's a, it's a young team and a team that seems to give people chances. Yeah, of course, it's a really good team to be. Uh, we have seen in the past that uh, they give changes to, to young drivers, so it's, uh, it's going to be a really important season for me. I will learn a lot and I will try to do my best with, uh, with the team to, to help them uh, as much as I can. And uh, Nico, it's like Paul, it's your, your second season in, uh, in Formula One, but you've had to, to, to wait a year. You know, you were the, the reserve driver here last season, so are you really itching to get back in, in, a, in a cockpit in earnest? Very much, yeah. I'm very hungry. Very much looking forward to, to look what's underneath here and then, you know, get out there and do some racing again. OK, fair enough. So let's not keep either the three of you or uh, all the, the viewers around the world who are tuning into this launch waiting for much longer. And just to update you on that, 20 European countries taking these pictures and 10 different networks in India carrying this launch event live. So, gentlemen, let's, let's take it away and, and reveal your new office for 2012. Yep, an exciting moment for these three guys. Let's see if this car is different to the McLaren or the Caterham that we've seen. The cover is coming off now. Nico and Paul, very talented young drivers. It's going to be a fascinating battle to see who finishes on top between these two in the new season. And there we see it. Yeah, let's... We can now say Namaste, which is hello in India, to the VJ Malia 5. Force India's new car for the season. Let's give it a big hand, guys. <laughs> so, uh, just as the photographers uh, take a few pictures of uh, the drivers with the car, let's have a word with uh, with Andrew Green, who's the technical director here at, at Force India. And, and Andrew, just, just talk us through the architecture of the car, if you like. Let's talk noses, first of all, because that's been the, the big change, I suppose, visually anyway, for this season. Yeah, it's a bit of a hot topic this year. A lot of people... Uh paying a lot of attention to noses yeah there's a there's a bit of a regulation change on the nose height mm. um with our with our philosophy we've gone for the uh with the drop nose um obviously a lot of people commenting on the mclaren mm. a couple of days ago they they run a different aero philosophy at the front so they've managed to drop their nose down mm. um for us it, it, it's it's not a big deal it's yeah. uh, it's purely aesthetics yeah. i mean it's what was it a surprise mclaren came out with what it's, we thought we'd be an untypical type of design for this season. We thought a lot of the cars would have these step noses. Yeah, I think it's just uh, an era philosophy that McLaren apply to the front of their car. Um, I think last year they were the only team to apply that philosophy. We'll see if anyone else follows their their suit. Um, we think most people are going to follow the, go our route. So uh, we'll wait and see. Yeah, and at the back, we see the the exhaust coming out in that more elevated position. Um, I guess that's the big issue from a technical point of view all the teams are wrestling with in this season do you think some are better placed than others in terms of finding a solution to that that downforce uh, need i think i think we're gonna, we're gonna everyone's gonna start showing their cards in winter testing mm. i think uh, there's quite a few teams just launched with a you know a, a basic specification just holding their cards close to their chest um, we're going to be looking at some different solutions over the winter and uh, also keeping an eye on what everyone else does in that area um, it, it was a big change from, from last year. There was uh, a, a, quite a lot of uh, downforce produced from the uh, exhaust and blown diffusers, mm. as it's been widely documented. But uh, we, you know, we're, we're confident we can, uh, we can claw most of it back. Yeah. I mean, I've been talking about you targeting fifth position in the constructors this season, which is what the boss has asked for, the Dr. VJ Malia. That's what he wants. But that's a, a big, big step. I mean, it's a step into the elite group, basically, isn't it? 
It is, and for a small team like ourselves, it, it's it's a big ask. But I've got a lot of confidence in the in the people around me. Um, we've got a lot of lot of clever guys. We work very hard. I think this is we learned a lot last year. We made some big strides last year in our understanding of uh, car performance, aerodynamics, and we're taking that another step this year. And you can you can see some of that. You know, some of the some of the detail on the car. You can start to see some of the the new aero philosophies coming through on it. So we're we're taking a a bit of a step <clears throat> from last year. We, we, we did a lot of learning last year, but this is a, this is a new chapter yeah. in Force India. OK, well, let's go and have a, another quick word. Thank you very much for the moment, Andrew. With the two principal drivers, I mean, here's your new office for the new season. I mean, uh, first impressions, Paul, you know, what, talk us through that, I don't know, the chief differences, perhaps, superficially anyway, from last season. Well, I think Andrew's, you know, said it, said it all. Um, obviously, the rules... Um, distinguish where it's going to be obviously the front nose is a bit different yeah, let's come around there just have a little look at that i mean you saw the mclaren car i guess maybe images of that on tv now they haven't gone with it the boxer's nose as, as i suppose people are calling it um is that just your wind tunnel coming out with different results from theirs i think everybody's got their strong beliefs um we have a good technical working working the amount of people in, in the factory that um they've come up with this design and that, that's the best way mm. for us to generate downforce um, mm. so that that's what influences the whole car and you've just got to hope that their decision that's the right way forward for us yeah and uh nico you've been with the team as i say for a season now do you sense you're better placed at this stage this year than you, than you were last and you, know, you, you, you will take a full part in testing and, and the car is ready that bit earlier and how much of an advantage that might that be? Well obviously it's a totally different situation for me to last year. Um, now I'm a race driver so obviously I'm, I'll be in every test you know preparing myself for, for, to, to go racing again it's uh, natural and obviously quite excited to, to drive the baby the first time out of the garage in Jerez and very exciting times for us. I mean, you